Hello there, the amazing viewers and subscribers. Welcome to a brand new Doctor Who ranking video. So in this video, I'm going to be ranking um, all of the Doctor Who logos. So all 13 of the logos we've had from over the years, I've actually put this into a ranking video. As you can see, the image of the logo should have come up. So before I get into this, some of these logos have made it out onto like kind of like um into like production stuff so say like for the collection range we've got the current logo uh for the VHSs we have a bit of the diamond shaped logos and the TV movie logo as well as the current the previous um logo the 2005 to 2010 logo for most of a lot of the stuff that I have got on the walls and stuff, like for action figures and stuff, so they won't be coming up. But I will, I will get to that later on in the point. So going into this video, I'm actually going to do this from thirteenth place down to my all-time favorite. I was going to do this the other way around, but I thought that nah, doesn't really make sense. <clears throat> So I am going to show you some stuff I've got on the logo behind me on the shelf and stuff. So anyway, let's get into this. So in 13th place, I have put the 2010 to 2012 logo from Matt Smith's first two series. So the image should have come up. So we basically have this logo right here. And I really don't like this one. I never actually liked it. The only thing are pretty cool about it was the DW because where you see it in the title sequence and the way it changes into the title from the time for text that was pretty cool this but the rest of it doesn't really feel like it feels so out of place for Matt Smith's run I like the whole DW thing with the, the title but the rest of it I'm not really too sure of it and I, I really don't understand why after like series six came along they put the BBC logo underneath it it's like what the hell are they doing here I really, that's why this is my least favourite one. I really don't like this logo. I always like to try and skip it on a rewatch. I always put, when it gets to the actual theme tune. The theme tune's absolutely great. I do love the theme tune. It's just the logo. It doesn't really work this kind of era for me. So, 12th place, I have put the Jerry, the Jodie Whittaker logo. The current logo, which we have. On the collection box sets. Now. So here's the logo. So the image should have come up. Now this logo. It doesn't really feel new to me. It just feels like I took the Christopher Eccleston. David Tennant one. Took out the kind of like little diamond. The kind of overall shape of it. And then just put a line through Doctor. And then the line for Who through the O. It just feels like they're trying to recreate a Heckleson tenant one, as you see here on a T-shirt. It just feels like that to me. It just feels like they're just trying copying a bit from the tenant slash Heckleson one. So that's why it's not really my all-time favourite. So next on the list in 11th place, it is the 2014 to 2017 logo. Peter Capaldi's logo. So I get the current logo. So here we are. That's it there. And the image should have come up. But again, this one just feels like a bit of the re hashtag from the 2010 kind of logo. It just feels like they just changed it from blue to white. Got rid of the DW, but it still looks exactly the same to me. It doesn't just wow me as much as other title sequences do in this list. Uh, 10th place. Now, this one is the only classic one uh, really, really low on this list and it is the 1967 to 1969 logo now nothing of this logo was actually ever released onto dvd or blu-ray or stuff so the picture of the logo ha should have come up by now so this one it just feels like they tried to redo that like, the hartnell but they took a bit of the hartnell stuff out like the boldness and stuff created this on word it looks like they just created it on words and then just throw it in after Troughton's face it doesn't really work for me as it did for the first couple of seasons with it i really do like the 1960s logo compared to this logo from the 1960s the very first one from 1963 to 1966 is a lot better than this one 
But the only, but if I was going by the, the title sequences, this would be very high up in the list because I do actually like the stuff they did with it cleverly. But this is just the logos. Ninth place, it is the 1970-1973 logo. John Pertwee. Now, admittedly, I could have put 1996 version of this because it, it is just a reuse of the, you know, of the this current logo at the time from 1970. But I actually prefer it 1996 because in 1996, they kind of done it a lot differently than they did for this one. This one... I like it a little bit. I do like it when it comes in the title sequence when you've got John Pertwee's face and it changes to who and you've got the titles coming out the back of it. This one you don't really see much on like VHSs or DVDs or whatever. You don't really see much merchandise with this current with this logo on it. Eighth place. Yeah, I have to say this one. Eighth place. It is 2012 to 2013 logo from Matt Smith. Now, from Series 7. Now, admittedly, from, well, basically it's from Series 7 Part 2. So, I have got some of this logo. So, here it is. Again, yeah, it looks like a bit like a Capaldi one. But the only thing I like about this, they still kept the DW on it. I still like the way they kept the DW. But when you get into the title sequence, the first part of it, I was like, ooh, it's just the rehash of the 2010 one for this series and then when it gets to this one I'm like oh, it's a lot better i absolutely love it i absolutely love it and then the one thing with peter capaldi's run i just don't like the way they just reused it and they changed it a bit and it's like oh nah so coming into seventh place it is the 1996 logo from paul mcgann the tv movie now this logo i absolutely love because you see it on a ton of stuff so i'll show you we have it here on the actual Blu-ray release. We have it. The logo is actually on every single DVD range from Classic Co. So we have the 1996 logo. And even going way, way back, we have it in the VHS tapes as well. The 1996 logo. And I absolutely do love this logo. I love the way it looks. Um, the way it comes in with the cathedral theme in the, like, in the theme tube. It works so much well. And it's absolutely amazing. And I love the way it goes like into 3D. I like the way it's like 3D um, titles for the first time. Well, second time really. I absolutely do like this one. It's a lot better than John Pertwee's one from 1970 to 1973. But I absolutely do like this one. Now, sixth place. The logo should have come up by now, hopefully, if the image has come up. It is the 1984 to 1986 logo. Colin Baker's logo. Now, this one, it just feels a bit of a rehash from the from the few seasons before this one. So, a bit of the 80s. But in this one, it just feels like they kind of, like, bent it a bit. Changed it into, like, a purpley colour. There's nothing really new about this one. It's just like, oh, we have seen it, but they just changed it. It's like... Oh. What of Oh, what have I done here? Oh, like that. It's just like... Ugh. I really don't like Colin Baker's one. Now, in fifth place, it's 1980-1984. Peter Davison and Tom Baker's title sequence from season 18 to season 21. Now, I have to say, this, I absolutely do like this one because it absolutely works so well. I do like this logo. It's like the proper star, star feel effects. It's, it's like the look at Star Wars. I took the Star Wars logo and changed it into Doctor Who with this cold dog kind of new fantastic sort of logo for doctor who and it is absolutely amazing i absolutely love it you've got the whole stuff stuff the fame the peter howard theme works for it the reason this is above the colin baker one is because it is a lot better and it serves to be in top five where here it's like where collins is just like it's just like a reuse but they'd like change it a bit add a bit of purple and it doesn't work for me but i actually kind of like the kit in this way 1980s is the best the first few seasons with it Fourth place, as the image should have come up by now, it is the 2005 to 2010 title sequence. Now, I do mind about this kind of era a lot. Not with Heckleson, more of Tenant. But I absolutely love the logo. And I love the title sequences as well. It's my 10th favourite title sequence. I actually do like this title sequence. Where you see it come up in the theme and it kind of goes... Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, like that, and it got the Doctor Who and it lifts off. I absolutely do like this logo, and it is on a lot of merchandise stuff from 2005 up to 2010. 
because I've got some Doctor Who books with the logo. It's literally on the DVDs, as you see here. Uh, it's also on the volume, so I'll just grab a volume for you. Just bear with me. Da -da -da -da, I'll move the other volumes down, you know. Like we have it on the DVDs, we have the current, we have it like that, and it's absolutely amazing. I do love the logo. I mean, the texting, the textile they use for it with the little dot in the middle is absolutely amazing, and it was used for a hell of a long time. Just put that one back. So, yeah, I do absolutely love this one. Uh, third place is the original type, the original logo. It is the 1996, 1993 to 1996. This see this logo was used for all of William Hartnell's run and the first couple of stories for Patrick Tryon. I believe the last time it actually was used was in the Moon Base because in the next story after the Moon Base, the Macro Terror, they changed it to the Patrick Tryon one with the face and the logo, but. I absolutely do love this one. It looks absolutely blonde. And when you have it in that amazing kind of title sequences, it's like very, very creepy with the music and the title, like with the vortex and stuff. And then when you go straight into this logo, it is absolutely amazing. It's one of the reasons why I love the 1960s as much as I do. It's, in my, it's my third favourite decade of Doctor Who's the 60s is after the 70s and 80s. And it's way before the modern stuff. I absolutely do like it. I like the current low. I do like this logo. I wish I would have sticked with it for all of the 60s, really. And then change it for the 70s. But I can't really say more than that. So, so my second favourite logo is the 1990, not, 1987 to 1989. I absolutely do like this logo. So that's McCoy's one. This is the very first time they try doing it like in 3D with the WHO. As the image to come up. Now this one I actually love. This is my all time favourite title sequence of all time. It's I love this title sequence. I love the way it goes into like the galaxy. It has dated fairly, fairly badly. But this title sequence. I just absolutely love it. I love the 3D stuff of WHO. For Who. And then when you've got the Doctor going like diagonally. In like lowercase. And not as 3D. It works absolutely perfectly for me. I absolutely do like this logo. It's very, very 80s. And I just absolutely love it. It's a great logo. It's personally my second favourite. So going into my fav all-time favourite logo. My all-time favourite ever logo. And it is the one from 1973 to 1974. This one was used from season 11 all the way down to season 17. It is a great season. Now this season, this one was used by John Pertwee. And of course Tom Baker. And it is used over the years on VHSs. I mean... I've got a load of VHS tapes with the logos. Let me just try and grab one for you. There we go. See that? We have it there on the load. We literally have it there. We don't have it in the blue like it is in the time for tapes, but we have it multicolored. We have it in that form. We have it also like this one. We have it side like on the like for the spines. We have it like kind of like sideways, like that way. There, see? It's an absolutely great logo. I love looking at my VHSs for these lo for this logo. I am actually going to get the T-shirt with this with the night with this logo. Oh, wow, I'm going to get this logo on a T-shirt. As I was trying to say, I absolutely do love this logo. I love the way it is in the time, like in the title sequence as well. After it literally shows Kurt or Tom Baker's like body slash face, and then you've got this kind of like the way it literally shapes the vortex with this diamond shaped. It's really, really great and absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. So this is how I rank the logos of Doctor Who. Let me know in the comments, what are your, what is your favourite logo? Is it the 1973 to 1979? Is it the 1987 to 1989? Is it the 1963? Is it any of them? Let me know in the comments, what is your favourite logo? And how do you rank all of the logos? Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share. And have a great day and a great, magnificent being magnificent Time Lords. Thank you for watching.